So what is good everybody, it's your boy Jay Davey and I'm back with episode number 2 of No Money Spent and today we're going to be getting you guys some Michael Thomas gameplay, you guys already can tell by the title man. Now it took a lot for me to go ahead and get this card so I'm going to show you guys my journey on how I got him because I did not have the coins to get this card at the moment of recording this video. So as you guys can see at the top of the video, I was only sitting at about 177k at the moment. So I said, why not try to get this Michael Thomas done the right way, the no money spent way. We're going to try to get it done by completing his set. Now, in order to do this, I played a lot of the challenges. I had a lot of extra superstar players and I was able to go ahead and throw into these sets. Now, I needed 386 overall superstar heroes, which they're pretty expensive at the moment. So I decided I at least want to not pay for one of them. I threw all these cards into the set to get myself a hero, Nick Bosa, who also includes a power-up player, which is great to have because he had a team of the year last season, and he's probably going to get another upgrade in the future. So if anything, I can go ahead and power this guy up. And now, we're zero spent. We're zero dollars spent. All I got to do now is acquire two more players and an 83 to 84. So I went ahead and got this Richie Incognito for about 55k and then Quentin Williams for about 58k. And then we needed one more player, an 83 to 84. Went ahead and picked up Leonard Floyd for about 22k. So right now I'm around 130,000 coins. And at the moment of recording this, that Michael Thomas was going for about 190. So I think I definitely got a discount today. And we also get his power up alongside 89 Michael Thomas. So I don't have the train to do anything right now, but we get our Michael Thomas on a discounted price. You guys see the stats absolutely insane 87 jumping 87 catching 88 catching traffic 86 spec catch and then he is 86 short route running and mid route running absolute beast and of course since he is a superstar player he gets free abilities double me route tech mid in elite and then short in elite as well all for free i didn't just stop there you guys remember in the last video i said i was gonna go ahead and finish this travis kelsey set to get my 88 travis kelsey and I'm sticking to that point. All I needed was one more player in 83 to 84. So again, I'm no money spent. I don't want to spend money if I don't have to. We got three veteran loyalty packs. Now you guys get this basically from playing Madden year to year. They gave me three packs because I've been playing the last three years. And it's all the same Nat players here. I took those three players, added them to an exchange set to go ahead and get it. A free 83 to 84. Madden trolls me again. We go ahead and get ourselves an 84 punter. Now it's it is a punter, but I mean that would, would be nice to have on the team. But we have to do what we gotta do. It's the larger scale picture here. I got myself that 88 Travis Kelsey. And now our tight end is pretty much locked in. I was gonna get Kyle Pitts, but I mean hey, this is free. And then finally, Madden dropped the rookie premier players. Which I'm kind of pissed about because I didn't really do my due diligence by playing the challenges to get tokens. So we only ended up getting one token this year, which is really bad. I gotta make sure I finish these out for the end of Madden 22. But we have one token and I can get a free 86 rookie premier player for about quarter the value of training. Which again, it is what it is. This is what I get for, you know, not playing the game, not grinding the solos as much as I should. But it was an obvious choice. Javon Morig, everybody's been talking about him. One of the best safeties, could be the best safety in the game right now. Javon Morig, I, I know I have Devin McCourty. I know I do. But the man has 90 speed and 90 acceleration. I can't pass up on that. And he also has 86 hit power, which is great. And then Madden also blessed us. At level 10, you do get a free rookie premier player pack. Same thing. This time I told myself, though, we need to shore up this offense. I got Michael Thomas. Let's bring in a running back. So I decided Najee Harris. We're going to bring him in. Very great running back at this point in Madden. I know Saquon is dropping soon. But Najee Harris will get the job done. Probably one of the better running backs in the game right now. 87 speed, 88 excel. And he's got 85 change of direction, which is really good for his card. Now, I know that was a lot for you guys to take in. So just take a second, relax, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. It will really help alleviate the stress from what I just told you guys. We're on the road to 620. I would really appreciate it. Subscribe, Noti Bell, follow me on Twitter, Twitch, do all those things. You know what? You already know the drill. But before we get into some gameplay with Michael Thomas, I still have some packs for you guys. So we're going to start things off with a gridiron pack. Got to start low and then build up to the top. You never know what you can get with these kind of packs. Start things off with a gold. 
Okay, okay. Oh man, that man's face. We in the lead. AD Bud Dupree, we already got him from the first episode. Not bad. Another oh, double elite? Jimmy Ward? So our next pack is going to be the elite pack. Should be a little bit better results. I mean, I got two out of a gridiron. So I gotta, I gotta do better than that, right? Like, I can get three. I think I can get three cards out of this. We get an elite Mason Crosby, a kicker. And then onto the prime gaming pack. I don't even know what to expect. I haven't seen any videos, but I've seen on Twitter. People have been pulling some insane players, some Tyreeks. Let's go from the back this time as we get gold, gold, gold. So much gold. It's got, it's bound to happen, right? The second card, we get no elites. Oh. So not to mention that things are just going bad for me right now. Unfortunately, all of this gameplay, I had the face cam set up for week one, but we did not have any audio. So I do not have face cam audio. I do not have gameplay audio, but I decided I got to show you guys this gameplay. Anyway, starting things off, Mike Thomas over the top touchdown, first play touchdown already started things off with a crazy play. This card alone is going to be my greatest card on the team. On the other side though, he starts things off with a little slant play and I realize quickly this guy is all about the hurry ups. I don't know if it's going to help him because look at these cheesy ass catches. He was getting there to CD Lamb, second and 10 dropping back, rolling out with Mahomes, throws it right at me and he somehow comes up with the catch. First and 10 here. I feel like a full on commentator right now, I feel like an NFL analyst as we get there with the sack from Jeffrey Simmons. First sack of the game, he goes with a little hurry up once again. Second 18, rolling out to his left. With his off, look at this crossbody. Kelsey somehow getting a lot of yards. It's fourth and two. We get him to a crucial situation. He throws a little check down to Kelsey and he does a little juke just to get the first down. He is in the red zone. Play action once again. His favorite go to play, rolling out with Mahomes. Nobody's open. He rolls and spins out of bounds for some reason. But then he finishes off the drive with an easy throw to Travis Kelsey to tie the game up. Now, I'm back on offense. You already know who I'm trying to go to in this game. Throwing it already over to my boy, Najee Harris, for a little check down. First and 10, I see Mike Thomas on the slant, breaking tackles, showing that he's in the freaking gym. Running up the field there, picking up a big chunk of yards. At the two minute warning, we drop back on first and 10. I don't see anyone. We got a lot of time. We have a lot of time. I see my boy Lance Allworth coming back. Does not get his toes in bound, unfortunately. So it is second and 10, dropping back. Crazy dangerous throw there to Mike Thomas to pick up five yards. Dropping back again. He gets the pressure, but I see my boy Mike Thomas in the back of the end zone with a bit of a laser. That's a tiny major laser right there, man. We take the lead there with that touchdown. Back on defense, he throws up a prayer, and we end up picking that with Deion Sanders. And ultimately, that's going to be the end of the game. You know everybody in this game of Madden, they do not want to play. They do not want to stay and finish a game. It is only the first half. We end up throwing it to Mike Thomas there on a little crosser, getting him down at the two, but he had enough. So he finishes that game. We win this one 14-7 with the rage quit. On to game number two. You guys see this guy hyper whatever his name is I don't care pretty decent team we start with the ball immediately I noticed this guy has pressure for days like non-stop my offensive line just couldn't hold up we had all the time in the world he's just making a lot of pressure on Patrick Mahomes so we end up punting the ball to him and he comes out with Mahomes of his own throws in a crazy two Bro, off of two people's helmets into my hand to Devin McCourty. Pick six. That is very, that's like one of the most unlucky plays I've ever seen, man. You guys can see it in the replay. Off two helmets, off of the hands of the D lineman into McCourty for the pick six. He gets the ball back now, and I think he's angry. He throws a complete bomb to Devin Hester and almost gets in down at the three. Little cover three beater. And then he does the simple old school way, punches it in there for the rushing touchdown, tying the game up. We're back with the ball though. And once again, that D line is eating us alive. So I had to change things up. We went play action and I said, it's my turn. Michael Thomas, dot over the top of the cover three. Another big touchdown play, another bomb of a play. He doesn't even have crazy deep route running, which is insane. Cause he's doing a lot. He goes with a little play action here, 
Not the best move for him. We get the fumble. He gets it back, unfortunately. And this guy is just taking his sweet old time getting up. But it's okay. Second and 19, already in a bad position. He's desperate. Throws up a little bit of a bomb. That should have been a pick. But unfortunately, we don't get it. Third and 19. Throws up another bomb. And this time, we have to make him pay. Fabian Moreau with the pick. And that ultimately is going to be another rage. But we are going to end things there, though. Unfortunately, like I said, my face cam, no audio, no recording. But maybe on the next one, for sure on the next one, I'll have my face cam back up and running. If you guys did enjoy this one, make sure to go ahead and leave a like, comment down below, hit the subscribe button, and the noti bell. And I will see you guys in the next one, man. We're 2-0 to start the season. Hopefully, we continue the streak. I will see y'all in the next one.